Hello, this is a demonstration video for the AutoRig Pro rig library. In this video, I'd like to showcase how you can add custom bones to any of the rigs of the AutoRig Pro rig library. In this example, we have uh, a giraffe rig and I would like to add some custom bones to this rig. So uh, let's just go to edit reference bones to, uh, sh to let, let me show you where I would like to add some custom bones. Uh, in this case, I would like to add some custom clavicle bones to this front leg setup. Normally I would select one of the uh, leg bones and go into limp options, uh, but I can see that three bones leg is already uh, uh, checked. So Adderick Pro doesn't offer me any more options to add extra bones to this leg setup. Therefore, uh, I would need a custom bone to add to this leg. So yeah, let's just do that. So press Shift A to add a bone. Let me just move it out of the way, go to the outliner, uh, use the period button to go to the bone and let me rename it to clavicle.l um, I'm naming it uh, this way uh, because well the dot l is to let blender know that it's a bone on the left side and I can easily symmetrize it to the right side um, and I'm calling it clavicle and not for example shoulder because it needs to uh, be a name that's not being used by the other rig pro system uh, shoulder is a name that's being used by Autoric Pro, but Clavicle isn't, so uh, that's why that's a safe name. Okay, so let me now uh, symmetrize this uh, custom Clavicle bone. So I press uh, right mouse button and uh, I select Symmetrize. And as you can see, now we have a Clavicle.R bone, which is nice. Um, I've got uh, X mirror on, so when I move this bone, the other one gets moved as well. Okay, so let's now position uh, uh, the custom uh, bones where we want them within the rig. So let me just do this somewhere here. Let me go to the front view as well. Move it in, move the custom clavicle bone into position. Something like this. Yeah, so I like this. Uh, next thing that we need to do is parent these custom bones to our rig uh, in a correct manner. And that's important because uh, what you need to know about AutoRig Pro is that it is possible to parent reference bones to custom bones. Uh, so for example, uh, we can parent this uh, leg bone to our custom clavicle bone, but it is not possible to parent custom bones to reference bones. So we cannot parent our custom clavicle bone to uh, this uh, spine bone, which is a reference bone. What we can do is we can parent uh, uh, custom bones to controller bones, but uh, I'll show you in a minute how that works. Let's first just parent our uh, leg bone to the uh, clavicle bone. So I shift select both bones, control P, keep offset. Uh, this has uh, this parenting has been automatically also done for the right side. Let me show you. Let me select the leg bone. Shift select the custom clavicle bone. Control P. You can see keep offset is uh, grayed out because it's already parented. So that's nice. Uh, but now, oh, excuse me. Uh, uh, but now we need to parent our custom clavicle bone to uh, um, the spine bone. We cannot parent it to this reference bone, uh, but we need to parent it to a controller bone. So um, first thing is we need to move our custom bones to the controller bones layer. So let's just do that. I've selected uh, both custom bones. I press the M button. Here we go. And here we can see that right now uh, our custom bones are on this bone layer, which is the reference bones layer. Uh, we want to move them to this layer, which uh, which is the controller bones layer. So let's just go to that layer. It's the most upper left uh, box and click it. And it looks like they're gone. And that's correct because right now we're looking at the reference bones layer. But if we go into object data properties uh, uh, and we um, select the controller bones layer, we see our custom bones again. Cool. Uh, well, we keep them selected and we shift select the spine, uh, the spine bone. Okay, it maybe look, it maybe looks like we haven't selected the, the spine, uh, the spine bone, but we did. You can, if you also look over here, you see that it's uh, that it is selected. Okay, Control P, 
to parent the custom bones to this uh, um, uh, spine bone, keep offset, and now uh, uh, everything is uh, correctly parented. Let's just go back to the reference bones layer, and if we now press match to rig, uh, yeah, so if, if we now press match to rig, you can see that our uh, custom bones have been uh, added to the rig. So that's nice. Uh, one final thing that we need to do is uh, we need to tag these custom bones as custom bones uh, for the uh, Auto Rig Pro system. Otherwise, they won't get exported to, uh, for example, when we export it to a game engine. So let's just select them both, go to the Auto Rig Pro add on, and go to export and uh, click on set custom bones. Uh, that's it. Yeah, if we want to double check, we can select one of the bones. We can go to the bone properties and uh, let me just see custom properties. Here we can see it's it's now uh, tagged as a custom bone. That's it. Uh, I hope this was clear. I know it's 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 um, a workflow that you need to get used to, but um, this is the way how you add custom bones to uh, AutoRig Pro Rig. Thank you so much.